previously on Route Master 70. I went down to Chiswick to go back in time. This young man showed me his bus. And of course, there is a Boris bus because they are originally built and based off the originals. And now, the continuation of Route Master 70. Looks beautiful right there. <laughs> I know. So I and you've even got a model of the um, Boris bus as well. Yeah, I guess where you're going. Yep. Yeah. I guess it's round two. Yeah. Well, I saw you yesterday. Mm-hmm. Well, I guess it's day two of Route Master 70. And as things stands, there are more buses here now. There is, there's even this one. What's this? I'm guessing this is your Route Master. Yeah. Ah, I remember, I came here yesterday and I saw it. You did, yeah. Yeah. Going to. This one's going to Acton Town Station and back here. The Sonic Delights of the North Circle. I'll help myself to six. All right. All right, I'll help Sonic myself. Sonic Delights of the Industrial Estates of the North Circle. Oh! Oh, oh man, they've taken the front seats. All right. What is with this leg room here, man? It's so small. And we're off. I think you already know what I'm gonna say, but away we go. Oh, is this the Yep, this is the North Circular. This is the North Circular, we're on the A406 now. Oh, this is a bad idea. <laughs> oh, for God's sake. How much does it cost for a ticket? A pound each. A pound each? Well, I'll make it 50p. What? <laughs> Thank you very much. Anyone else? There's, there's traffic. And of course, in true fashion time, there is traffic on the A406. Jesus! Jesus! I'm afraid to. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Traffic. The traffic is still going on. Jesus. God. We're going to be like 50 years old when this finishes. Yeah. Oh, we're finally out of traffic. Thank God for that. Oh, I'm literally scraping my head off. Jesus, I'd imagine if I'm two feet taller. Press the bell once. Not ding, ding, ding. <laughs> oh, how do you know me? I'm Ali on YouTube. I'm Ali Khan. Ali Khan. I love Root Masters and I, I love it so much. Thank you very much. Yeah, I heard about you. Um, and GS12 is now with Wesley, who bought it. So I guess we meet again from yesterday. I'm moving the bottle. <laughs> 
<clears throat> oh my gosh, there's a there's a coffin. No, I've been in that. What you've been in the what you've been in that coffin? No, but I've been in the box. Oh. Oh, whoever yeah. died there, rest in peace. Down's in it. Oh. It's the, it is made for funerals and now it's been taken from the map. Oh. Okay. They change the coffee every time they have a funeral. <laughs> Oh, I'm just noticing there's, there's like a fridge or something in there. Okay. Oh. 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 I'm sick, isn't it? Look at the speakers. This is like a limousine. I know. Oh my gosh. And these are so cool as well. I can imagine. You know what? I'm going to try. Oh. Oh man, that is very comfortable. Hello. <laughs> wow. Oh, what the? Where'd he go? I'm loving the um, hy jacket you got at the back. Oh. It's got R-E-T-P. Sorry. It's okay. Oh, nice. Even though this is a green bus, but I like how, I love the fact that they've actually kept it in its original condition. Now, for the people that are uneducated, the green buses were the London country buses. The ones that were express or something. The blue buses, the um, British European Airways, are the ones that ran from West London to Heathrow. Fun fact, Chiswick Business Park used to be the former London Chiswick Bus Works. It was famously known for its water skid test to test the stability and the capability of the route masters. That is until 1990 when Chiswick Works closed permanently. And that's why they relocated at Chiswick, which is even more memorial. I'm just noticing, and I'm looking at the license plate, it says LTZ 1070. I've just noticed that it's called LT70. That means it's the perfect bus Celebrating for um, Route Master 70. <laughs> I look at my tie. That was from 30 years ago at the Royal Victoria Dock. And then ah. 20 years ago, the first one at Finsbury Park, I was actually one of the organisers. And then the exhibitor 10 years ago at Finsbury Park, and then here again today. So, um, mm -hmm. but with different buses. Do you know Master when, Master. do you know where Route Master 80 is going to be located? Uh, I don't. I've just seen the back team, but I would imagine up the far end because that's where they uh, uh, wanted RM5 for. Huh. Uh, I, I imagine Routemaster 80 is going to happen somewhere around Aldenham. I don't know. Well, you know you wouldn't because you can't... Aldenham's a housing estate now. Oh. A housing estate now. I don't even... I'm not even certain there will be a Routemaster 80 because a lot of the people that are involved... We're old men now. I'm one of the youngest and I'm nearly 60. So, um, yeah. I think this will be the last big one. It might be a smaller one in five years' time, 75 years. That's, I, that's not beyond the bounds of possibility, but I don't think there'll be another one in 10 years' time. I think this is it. Hey, Dave. Hello, mate. You all right? Yeah. How's the video coming along? Oh, it's going well. Is it going well? Yeah. I've you been... I'm um, positioning buses this morning. <laughs> I'm taking photos. <laughs> I've been told it's like, there's going to be like over 80 buses in in here. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. From old to new. Literally. <laughs> <laughs> Filmed a new Route Master and an old Route Master just right like at the same time. 
So the sun's out and I'm joined by my other companion. You may or may not know him from YouTube, but this guy's channel is called Ace Level Bros. He even has his other friend, Level, but he's not here at the moment. But what brings you here? Um, I just wanted to check out the place, see, see what's happening. There's a lot of new route masters around here, so it's bound to be exciting. What if I told you this kid right here, that's his route master? Yeah. I went on this yesterday. He he gave me um he gave me permission to um to go in the driver's cab. I've never I've never been on a route master cab. I don't know what these are. I think they're just body shells of route master buses. Yeah, I think these are like spare parts. The bonnet. Well, that's the bonnet. Yeah, yeah. And then I guess that's the the mesh grating for the engine. Yeah. Got the um. <laughs> Well, that's a reference. Has he been yeah. in the cab? Huh? No, no, he's not been in the cab. Okay, you can go in. No, 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 you're supposed to, you're supposed to put your left foot there, your right foot there, yeah. There you go. All right. Comfy there? <laughs> Takes you back to the 1950s. Not that I'm not, I'm not that old. Nah, I'm pretty sure our ancestors survived that. Yeah. That's the steering wheel, obviously. That's the um, handbrake. That's the handbrake. Yep. <laughs> I, this bus doesn't have a clutch, but I'm guessing the in, the indicators are over there. This one that I'm pointing at is um, the 1000th Route Master. Oh, yeah, I've got that in 1987 to 2024. I think that's recently blinded. It's got Route 37, referencing for 37 years in preservation. Such a shame, because you know, we would have got some action. <gasps> oh my god! And that's why the Piccadilly line and the district line is not in service. Sadly. But it's good to see that they still have these. Yeah. The battery locomotive stops. Now for giggles, I might as well film a bit of the Route 17. <laughs> wow, it's, I guess it's an electric bus. Yeah, it's electric. <laughs> Which is a shame, this is what TFL's taking, a different approach. Yeah, yeah, I know. Yeah. Oh my God, <gasps> there's a middle seat at the back. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> Because not many electric buses have a middle seat at the back. They no, remove it. I know. I checked the license plate of this bus. It's it's a 2018 one. Oh, is it? Yeah. So it's been around a while. Also, I'm noticing that's where the wheel arch is. So I'm doubting the legroom is going to be good. Oh my god. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. 
Jesus. Oh my God. <laughs> but why does TFL? Why is TFL so desperate of getting electric buses when hybrid buses? Well, they're literally electric, but with a bit of diesel. That's the norm, you get the CCTV there, the iBus. Let's just have a little bit of a glimpse of the driver's cab. And then at the top, that's where the, um, the control panel is and the route change. Also, this might look silly, but I'm gonna press it anyways. Hey, it lights up! <laughs> It's a paper, it's a paper blind electric bus, which is very rare now, yeah, because now, they? yeah, but they do glitch out. Yeah, and they're a pain for photographers when taking photographs. Oh, you're the bus well, driver. I, my, my bus I just wanted to look around for it. <laughs> I was just looking around. I mean, we got a route master here, so. For, I thought for giggles, I might as well just film a bit of this, you know? Maybe, let's see. I'm going to take a look at this. What, are you going to buy this? I'm going to take a look. Oh my see. days, look at this. It says £30 there. Good lord. I really like how he's got Route 19 at the front cover. Yeah. Oh yes, I remember this used to be on the 259 <laughs> once. This used to be on 259. I think this only happened once or twice, if not yeah, twice. Very rarely. But then happens. it had those Volvo B70Ls in the 259 as well. Now, this bus is RM1, which is home to being the first Route Master. Wow! This is Route Master number one. Oh! So tell us what this route master that I'm currently in is. Well, this was the very first route master. It was constructed here, and it was Chiswick Works, London Transport, 70 years ago, 1954. This went through rigorous testing programs, and then eventually went into service in 1956. On Route 2 in London, where it ran as trials, carried on in that mode until about 1959 when it came out of service because it was a uh, non-production vehicle and production vehicles are coming out that replaced the trolley bus system this was used then to train the trolley bus drivers how to drive them um, and then when that program was finished it carried on in the training fleet simply because it's being non-standard fuel fills in from the left hand side of the vehicle whereas the production ones fell in from the right hand side so it wouldn't have fitted in with the ordinary service buses and that's how it continued its role um, until eventually um, it was done away with then um, the London Transport Museum acquired it and we've kept it in preservation ever since and we like to do our out outreach programme with it on events such as this um, so people can see it. I'm noticing this bus is like it's got a yellow ceiling as well. All London buses had yellow ceilings at that period. RTs, route masters, and so yeah. on. It's only the later buses that reverted back to white seats. I'm guessing people used to smoke in these buses. Yeah, they did. Upstairs, upstairs yeah. the only buses in London that you could smoke downstairs on was the BEA buses because they came under totally different regulations. Oh. But any London Transport Service bus, you had to smoke upstairs, or if it's single deck, to so the rear of the bus. Um, that was a bylaw, so people had to adhere to that. And if you can imagine a trolley bus in the 50s going down the dockers, docks to pick up the people when they finish their shift, and it gets filled up, they're all smoking because that's what they did in those days. You couldn't see from one end of the bus to the other with the smoke, and the nicotine dripping off the ceilings as well. Yeah, it's a totally smoking. different world in them days. Right, come closer. I like the backpack that you've got oh, there. Thank you, yes. Yeah, I got this from the um, London Transport Museum. Although it looks squished, yeah. or, well, if you well, turn it from the side, it's squished. Yeah, no, he, he 
he lives flat, doesn't come out very often, but he puffs up when he's full up. <laughs> I haven't bought enough stuff yet. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe add some rocks inside it. There we go. Yeah. I grew up next to Mortlake Garage, the number nine route, so oh. that's why it's special to me, because it's oh. number nine, like this fella here. Yeah. <laughs> oh my days! Ah, oh, my head! Now, you obviously know where I want to sit. Right at the front, baby! Normally they have like a tea key yeah, I've got to one open. Room. Wait, really? Not with me, but I have, oh. I have I will give them one years ago with a conductor's bag. Oh my. And a badge. Oh, I think we're off. Jesus, that's an RT. Yeah, that's not allowed. Why? <laughs> it's an interloper. <laughs> Why do you not? <laughs> you hate this RTs, do you? No, no, basically it's RM70s. It's about yeah. the room master, not the oh. Yeah, but the root masters, the RTs are based off the root masters, aren't they? Are they not? Because they look the same thing. Well, the RT, the RT was designed in the 30s, wasn't it? Oh, to uh, replace the London trams. The, the, uh, the first RTs came out just before the war, 1939. And then these were post war, 1954. Oh. Oh, there you go. There's an electric one, which oh, yeah. is unimportant and irrelevant. <laughs> <laughs> It's, it was made by our evil, um, evil mayor in the process. <laughs> when you get to our age, though, you'll be coming on those going, oh, remember the electric ones? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Nope, 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 nope. <laughs> <laughs> Why was he trying to... Oh, he, he, wanted to, he wanted to get in. Yeah. Oh. Maybe he thought he could jump for one outside. And oh, man. He just left him there. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, we're getting tickets now. Oh, what? Just talk amongst yourselves, I'll be there eventually. Oh, womp womp. I've got one. I've got one of those, it's brilliant now. Well, you have one of those at home? I've got one at home, yeah. It came off, it came off the 12th of Campbell Garage in about 1995. Oh, yeah. Oh yes. There you go. We're on a roll now, aren't we? Thank yeah, you very much. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I saw what you did there. Yeah. <laughs> How's that? Thank you very much. Even got 70 on it, like it. <laughs> oh, oh my god, it's yeah! Oh my god, it's actually got 70. <laughs> I can't change the root number on mine, it's been it's been set to the 12. Oh. And I tried changing it and I can't, so I don't want to break it, so I've left it as, a, as the 12. Ah, oh, what a reference. Oh my god, there's a British European Airway bus. <laughs> what's, it, what's he doing? What? Did he literally come out of the driver's cab just to pose for a photograph? Probably. Dude, the, the lights are going to change. They're changing, they're changing. He's still not bothered. Oh my god, dude! The dude, get in! Get in! <laughs> By the time he gets in, the lights are going to change back to... No! Oh my god! Why? Why? We're just going round this... Oh my Jesus Christ! That's why true deflectors are so important nowadays. Yeah, true. Thank you, driver! So, how do I do this? Do I just put my left foot You put your foot on the, on the... Yeah, uh, put your foot on there. Put your left, put your left foot there, look. Put your left foot in there. Put your left foot in there. Put your left foot in there. Put your 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 I'm all in! I'm literally in for it now! Victoria. <laughs> 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 
I'm not happy anymore with this girl. Holloway. Uh, Edmonton, that's fine. Move up a bit more. Up. That's it. There goes the one. That goes to. Uh, 149 goes to Edmonton. Not you really want to go there. I gotta say, climbing out of the Route Master has gotta be a bit difficult. Especially if you take hold. <laughs> <laughs> I understand you got that reference from South Park. <laughs> Big boned. Yeah. <laughs> it's better than the RT with the handbrake on the right hand side, yeah. Yeah. Huh. Although the RTs look similar to these AEC Route Masters. Yeah, yeah. And, I mean, they, they follow the same criteria. Oh, yeah, cool, yeah. Just a more up-to-date version of it, isn't it, really? Yeah. I mean, this one looks more lightweight. Yeah, yeah. And the fact that they use aluminium, yeah. it just shows a big difference. Mm. Right. Yeah. yeah. I understand we've been roped into something. Yeah. Well, I don't understand the internet. <laughs> <clears throat> well, I guess that's the end, ladies and gents. So, um, yeah, if you've enjoyed the video, why not subscribe? It's free. Until then, by default, if nothing else, that's a wrap, and I'll see you later. Peace.